Clean. Looking hella fine, my goodness. But now we got RJ <clears throat> versus River repping that yellow Yoshi versus the Diddy Kong. And we've seen what Rivers can do, so it's going to be up to RJ to try to bear the storm at this point. Oh, 100%. Rivers already starting off strong with a quick little two piece right there. Only 12%, though, was looking for a little bit more. I love that egg throw, though, right? Just understanding that there's nothing much that Diddy will want to do here to keep the pressure going. And so instead, pop that egg to try to mean and get rid of some of that pressure that Rivers might try to execute. Mm hmm. But really good stuff that RJ keeping it even. He's doing a fantastic job so far, kind of scrapping it out with Rivers and not really falling for all the movement tricks and even trying to read a roll outwards. But will not be rewarded for that one. Great up tilt, but unable to follow it through with an up there as RJ would have wanted, but the Nair as well keep it relatively safe in the up he had a shield. It looks so silly, but I've seen so many Diddy Kong players <laughs> utilize it. It's a, it's a relatively good option if you want to get off there, but especially against Yoshi, who's like one of the best out of shield options, you got to be really careful about that one. So RJ doing a fantastic job, even just pressuring out there with the banana and keeping it relatively even, but Rivers, once again, just one good conversion away from taking it. And just like that, Speaks into fruition, RJ going to get their stock taken. Oh, 100% right there. Just keeping the pressure out. And as you said, that up out of shield just really good. But it don't matter right now. Those downers catching some stuff right there. I will, ooh, I was just ooh. about to mention this. I want to see these F tilts and these up tilts because that tail having a little bit of a disjoint, you could start catching those side Bs that Diddy Kong players are so well known for. Just because it's a great movement option inside of that neutral. Was... Oh. Oh, yeah. That, that was a good, getting the kill. That was such a good catch with that down air snapping it out there. So really good stuff on RJ understanding uh, what needs to be done. But the upbeat gonna be able to mid list it out there, unable to land it there. But oh, the monkey flip with that command grab center. There we go. Able to find and land those combo sequences. Able to sweep it up there. Big amounts of damage coming into way. And now Rivers gotta be a little careful. The fair out of shield snipes it out there. RJ in a bit of trouble, but. Burns the double jump at the last minute possible. Tripping on that banana. That's not too good at this point. You got to stay relatively safe. But RJ landing the grab as well. Rivers needs to be careful, though, because Yoshi can, can kill relatively early with a raw smash attack at this percent. That egg roll, though, to get out of disadvantage. Don't oh. see it often. But that right there, that catch with the banana, you know the classic, the tried and true, that banana into up smash. Going to get that kill mad early. And now Rivers... Ready to cook something foul. Dealing out 25% with a quick little nair nair up smash right there. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just trying to play it a little bit more patient. I love how Rivers is just playing right around the bubbles where Rivers wants to be swinging just so that, or where RJ wants to be swinging. That way what? if RJ does swing, you get popped with stuff like that. Uh, oh, 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 I, uh, I don't even know what the hell happened there. I, I, I thought the down air was going to confirm the stock and Potentially there, but I think the barrel's actually able to come back around and able to kind of you out there, try to lend the jab, try to get that, <laughs> try to use kind of get that neutral get up, but we'll have to work out so well. But Rivers, unfortunately, will be able to as will SD, but RJ, this is a small momentum that you have and great usage of the banana. Yeah, this is what you really need to see. Going against these kind of characters, you need to understand item play with the Z drops and whatnot, because you know, why not use, because it's a tool that a character can use, why not be able to utilize it against them? Now look at that, RJ with the Z catch as well, really good stuff. I will say, it's really good on RJ to be doing these Z drops, because if you did, if you miss it a little bit earlier, there was a small little interaction Rivers had when RJ went for a Z drop aerial right next to him, where Rivers wave dashed away from RJ, that way the aerial would whiff, but then real quick, you know, Rivers gonna seal out that kill. Uh, but with that air Damn. dodge on the wave dash, looked to catch the banana so that if RJ didn't quite space it right to get the Z drop aerial, Rivers would then pick not only get away from the attack, but then pick up the banana as well. Oof. Yeah, lots of good stuff happening out there, but I love seeing the kind of the fighting the back and forth by utilizing, you know, the projectile game. I think one big thing with Rivers that was just kind of the match is that the banana no, utilize every single projectile, the banana and gyro in that previous mm -hmm. set. And it just seemed to be like a one-sided game, but RJ instead fighting back by utilizing the banana and trying to throw it out there. And maybe, maybe it's working out because RJ looks like a banana himself on that yellow Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's used to messing around with the banana peel. He, he's mm -hmm. been 
utilizing it this whole tournament. Oh, that delayed Nair? Did you see that? That was kind of sick. It was nice just oh. to catch the landing right there. Ooh. I oh. love these up airs, these F builds, just those tail swings to catch any messed up movement from rivers and then set up into combos has been so good right now. Mm-hmm. And you guys like the Nair as well, but it won't be a the it won't be the grounded one, so no trip on that aspect, but the down tilt into that fair. Oh, catching out the jump. RJ's in a big amount of trouble. No, I didn't catch on the jump, actually. So, we'll have to stay alive, but Rivers calls it out with that up smash. That has been one thing that Rivers has been doing a really good job of, is just catching landings. Both these players just making it very scary to go for aggressive movement options to try to get to the other side of stage. And I think a key part of that is just having two characters with some pretty fast grounded movement to where it feels like you can't go to one stage or the other otherwise you just get caught up in some sort of up smash f tilt whatever you can't be moving to the other side of the stage they'll run like those track marathons i mean at this point rivers is looking to kind of run this marathon of uh with the lead but rj once again trying to find some way air dodging yeah the banana you're slipping on it twice and you gotta be real careful. That's like one of the most tilting things you're playing against Diddy Kong. You slip on the banana, right? And then you're like, okay, never mind. And then you slip on it again. Just like, <laughs> it's like, damn it. I got hit you with roll the- right into it. Yeah, it's just like, ah, oh, I got hit with the Yonkies Flunky. My bad, man. I didn't want to get hit by the second one. Oh, no! <laughs> and with the land with the monkey flip. The most disrespectful thing with monkey flip offstage if you land it, and then you do the, the, the spike version that's like really weak, but if it works out, it works out. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, and ew, that LP had option looks so bad. It looks so bad, but it's frame eight. And so it's such a quick option. And then alongside that, it's a pretty decent movement option, even uncharged. And it just carries a pretty strong hitbox at the beginning and at the end, if you decide to go for the crash option. So it's a little bit scary, which is what's scarier though, is this lead right now. Absolutely oh. laughing percent that jump armor. Mentioned that and uh, mentioned it at the beginning of the set. Just being able to jump through both banana and nair is such a good ability to have to get around a lot of Diddy Kong's pressure. Jeez, Rivers is just moving right now. Staying true to that name, you flow like water, my friend, and able to dodge it out there. But I love how RJ is willing to contest it. The projectile. Yeah, like, just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could never get enough of that. You gotta be careful to contest it, you know? That yeah. big explosion, it'll catch. Michael Bay knew what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, with the Transform movie, oh my goodness. Oh! <gasps> oh, I thought it was gonna be an off smash, but thankfully, it won't happen just yet, but really good stuff there, no! Oh, the Nair. Yeah, just getting a little too antsy to put that hitbox out, but of course, not having a double jump, that upbeat is not gonna bring you high enough if you are Yoshi, so. You're headed into game three, down 2-0 against one of the most prominent Diddy Kong players and one of the best players in New Jersey. What are you going to do? I don't know. It's 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 looking really rough at this point. Ar I love how RJ's willing to contest the banana on platform by able to use like the Z catch or whatnot. But at the same time, Rivers is like now so aware that you're going to try to go for that. Is able to contest with them. Oh, and I love that. Did that just do 35%? <laughs> What the hell? What the dude? You got hit three times and you're at sixty-five percent. Nah, you know it's you know it's bad when something happens on my screen that makes me like actually say a curse word because <laughs> I am so good at not saying that. Oh my goodness! This is Diddy Kong Mishima. Oh goodness! And look at that trade up there. Really good stuff there. So RJ fighting back though, trying to use that bear, but. Drifted in a little bit too much, but actually able to catch it up with the fair of their own. Rivers stuck on there, but the barrels being able to utilize to get themselves out of that situation. But RJ, he's gonna find some way, and that punish with that raw F smash off of that missed up smash attempt by Rivers. So already Rivers, this is the first time they found themselves in a disadvantaged state. So RJ's gonna really make this one count. But a minute down on the clock, we're we'll to see how it works out there. But great catch on there. Yes, RJ, that's exactly what I want to see. I love the idea, just missing it on the execution. RJ really making it count. And at this point, such a high percent. This is going to get so hard for Diddy to find the stock. But you know what? I was wrong. Nair back air, 
That'll do the trick every time right there. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, the fair to extend that? I love the delayed aerial as well, yeah, and really good stuff on mixing up that shield timing. You never want to get predictable. You never want to get linear, because when you start catching, you talked about how it's a mental game. Once you start becoming, once you start becoming that linear player, once you start being able to do things that it can be easy to predict, that's when it starts to become a huge struggle and thankfully able to avoid out the explosion part of the barrel. So RJ wanted to keep this lead forward and doing an amazing job swinging with it. I have to see what Rivers can do and look at the shield pressure from both of them and able to shield Blade just in time. But oh goodness, you can never count both these players out, but especially Rivers. We've seen what Rivers can do with this magic. I love how RJ is utilizing that up B at ledge to just go ahead and stall a little bit, figure out what placement they want, and now the egg lay this could oh, no. be a stock. Ooh, not getting a good punish off oh. of it and getting sent to the other side this time though. Oh, no tries kill, to go no for kill. the double. Oh. And now has the egg. It was just a re-grab to ledge. Oh no! <laughs> the up B crashing back onto the stage. You know, uh, Rivers knew that couldn't re-grab back onto the ledge and and now RJ has a banana hoisted over onto the left side of the stage. I love he got pressure finally mm -hmm. able to finish the job. So Rivers once again playing on the back, but for how long? And the double the double punch gonna go ahead with the back fist to shut it out. Yeah, okay. no, in those scenarios, you have to play super patient against your opponent because players are very okay with being down in percentage. But the minute they're down a stock, if you're at kill percent, they will just fish for certain kills. And so, mm -hmm. you know, Rivers understanding RJ hasn't been grabbing ledge a lot and has been going on the stage. And so just catching it with that F smash really <gasps> good. And oh, no rare miss. There. That was a rare miss on Rivers end. And RJ got to take full advantage of that one. Got it out with the banana and as well as the stage advantage. Trying to fish for a straight aerial. Lands the last back hits of the bear, but the quick barrels to get away from it. But. We're sitting back onto the center stage. Banana in hand, Rivers controlling it out there. That fair, good placement and timing. Yep, I love the aggressive uh, options that Rivers is throwing out there when the banana is thrown, knowing that RJ is going to try to get it. Ooh! <laughs> 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 Slip and slide, my friend. We have three whipped up smashes up in here, 150%. Rivers wants this game and set over. Oh, RJ. oh, oh no! <laughs> Looking for the shield break, but you can't get that aggressive against Rivers because you know what? They might have missed three up smashes, but it doesn't matter. That down air coming right 